Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2019. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to go through how to manually enter a credit card credit. Okay, so, you know, if you have your bank feed set up with your credit card, you're going to see these credits come through. Okay, and so uh, first you need to know how to classify these. Uh, but first, what I want to do is show you how to manually enter these as well, uh, because a, a lot of people sometimes uh, either can't connect their credit cards uh, to the bank feed through QuickBooks Online or for some reason need to manually enter a credit card credit, okay? So a credit with a credit card is, you know, you might make a return. Uh, let's say you purchased, you know, some office supplies, whatever it is. You purchase something and then you have to go return it. And so the confusion comes in in how do you classify this, okay? So entering it is not that big of a deal and it's pretty straightforward but the confusion comes in in how do you classify this return uh, or you know whatever it is whatever this credit represents okay all right so first of all what we're gonna do if you go up to the quick create menu you're gonna see an option here that says credit card credit okay so if you click on this uh, you're going to choose the credit account, the credit card account. So here we've got MasterCard Visa. We're going to say MasterCard. All right. And so first of all, you have to choose the payee. Okay. So this is a little confusing because you're not paying somebody, but this is the vendor that you're returning this item to or the vendor that is giving you a credit. Okay. So let's say that Books by Bessie is giving us a credit. You're going to put in the date. Okay. So again, payment date can be a little bit confusing because you're not making a payment, but it's just the date this credit happened on your credit card statement, okay? Category details, okay? So the category you're gonna choose, this is your account, all right? And so what I always tell clients is, you know, whatever this credit represents, you look at the original expense that it represented and then just put it to that account. That way it'll wash. So for example, if Books by Bessie, we originally bought, let's say, uh, office supplies. And let's say they were put, let's see, I think there's supplies, okay. So let's say we went to Books by Bessie, we charged $300, we bought supplies. We get back to the office, we're like, oh, you know what, I, I bought two of these or I don't need these and we need to return some of that and it's $100, okay? Since the original charge went to supplies, we're gonna put the credit back to supplies, okay? And this way, in the supplies expense account, it'll wash, it'll show the original charge as an expense and then it'll show the credit as a reduction of the supplies expense. We want to match those up so that we wash it in the account, okay? So you can put in a description here like return of unneeded supplies, all right? We're going to put in 100, all right? Now, if this is an expense that uh, was billable to a customer, uh, you can put the credit to their account and you can specify the uh, customer. Okay, so we'll say it's cool cars. In this case, I'm not going to specify any customer because this was just a normal operating expense of the business in this um, example. All right, and a reference number. All right, if there's a reference number on the credit card statement or there's some kind of reference number, uh, transaction number for this credit, then you would put this in here. All right. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to save and close. All right. So this is how you enter these manually. Okay, now if you have your bank feed set up for your credit card, if we go over to banking and we look at a MasterCard, okay, you're gonna see that uh, all of the charges and all the credits come through, all right? So for example, we've got all these expenses, we spent this money, and then over here we have a credit from Amazon for $89.99, okay? So again, this is a credit on our statement that we need to classify. So what you're gonna do in this example is you're gonna go and you're gonna say, okay, bank detail, Amazon software, 
all right? So if this was a software expense, okay, and you have a separate account set up for uh, a software expense, you're gonna first put in the name, okay? So Amazon is not in here as a vendor, all right? So we're going to, it should allow us to, uh, let's see, there we go. New name, Amazon. It's a vendor, okay? You can put in details, but since this is just a big vendor, you know, you don't need to put in the, the mailing address and all that kind of stuff, okay? So we just save it, okay? So the original expense was a software expense. So if we go through here, and we've got all our expense accounts. Okay, they don't have a specific software in this company example file. So what we're gonna do is put this to, let's say that the original transaction went to supplies, okay? So again, you're gonna offset it against whatever the original account where this charge came in, all right? So we'll put supplies, and again, if it's billable uh, and you need to give this credit to a customer, you can check this and select this customer. Okay, but otherwise, if it's just one of these everyday transactions, Amazon, you know, some office supply store, uh, you know, whatever it is that's really not billable to a customer, and it just goes against the supplies account. Okay, so we click add, and now it adds it as a credit. Okay, so two ways, one through the bank feed, when you see these credits come through, how to classify those, and the other is when you manually enter a credit card credit. Okay, the important thing is you want to make sure that you offset it against the original account that that charge went to. All right, any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, happy to help uh, in, uh, with general questions, of course. And uh, when you want your more specific QuickBooks questions answered, head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. Got the full training tutorials over there that'll pretty much teach you everything you need to know about QuickBooks Online. Uh, we also have it for QuickBooks Desktop and uh, uh, love to see you over there, qbuniversity.org.